If you're a music lover, you know the band name Toto, but what you might not know is local Valley resident Shem Von Schrock, a member of that band. And thanks for being here. Hey, Mike, that's old friend. <laughs> it's, I know, it's fun it's, to it's see just, you. It, it's so funny for you and I to be friends and to watch the things we've talked about. I, I introduce you, I hope you don't get insulted by this. I tell all my friends that are music fans, you're the most famous guy that they may not have ever heard of. <laughs> I mean, some of the people that you tour with, one yeah. of the coolest things is you're with the Eagles. You're singing don't, don't for the build. Eagles with Felder playing behind you singing Eagles songs. Yeah. How long did you tour with them? I did that for 12 years. So you were at, and what is that, for you, you're about my age, what is it like being Kenny Loggins, uh, the Eagles, to being such an integral part of what they're still doing? That's one of the great things about this career that I've had is that you get to, I get to play for my heroes. People I grew up listening to, people you grew up listening yeah. to, everybody grew up listening to. And now I'm on stage playing the same songs with them. And it's, 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 it's an unbelievable thrill. But the part of it that really strikes me is it's not that you're a part of what they do. You are, like, you are the music director for Kenny Loggins, correct? Right. I mean, mm -hmm. so everybody knows that that guy was just a hit machine. Yeah. I mean, he could not write it. It didn't seem like he wrote a song that wasn't a huge hit. And then it was, you know, with the movies and with Top Gun and Caddyshack. I mean, this guy was such a part of everything we listened to growing up. That's exactly right. I mean, the, the, the first song that he wrote with Michael McDonald won a Grammy for the Doobies. And then they were afraid to write a second song together because they were afraid of the yeah. sophomore janks. The second song they wrote together won a Grammy for Kenny. That's crazy. Song of the year. And so when you get the call, because you've traveled around the world. Uh, I've, to, I've introduced you today to some people that you are classically trained, sang opera in Germany. So yeah. you are a very accomplished musician and singer. Well, my, my dad's a fine musician who's a behind-the-scenes guy that, that he did things for Frankie Valli in the Four Seasons, Sammy Davis Jr., Frank Sinatra recorded songs that my dad wrote. And he was always advocating that if you're going to do something, do it to the best of your abilities. Don't just be a one-trick pony in that craft. Go outside of that box and do everything well if you can. Um, it's only going to help you get work, get, get noticed, and be an asset to someone else's musical situation. And that's kind of how I've always approached everything that I do. Go, if you're going to do it, do it well. Do it to the best of your abilities. Give 100%. Otherwise, why do it? So someone our age, you know, for me, it's, it's a, my, my radio and television career got validated by my friends when I said, you know, hey, Ted Nugent and I are friends. And just knowing Ted Nugent validated my career. <laughs> What's it like, not only do you get a call to be on stage with some of these people, but when they trust you enough that they want you to be a part of their creative process and the music they play every night? That's huge. That's a huge honor for, for, for starters. But it, just for the example of Toto, I mean, these guys were playing on every record. Every, the song Beat it is the guys from Toto. It's Steve Lukather playing guitar and bass and Jeff Picaro on drums. I mean, they are all over the Thriller album. So they did, and they did sessions for everybody. Okay, and so to be associated with that fraternity of guys that have that kind of respect in the industry and to be, to be called to, to be a part of that, it's an honor for someone who's a, such a fan and yeah. respected and read their names on album covers for their whole career, it's a huge honor. And it's got to be a different level. For me, I'm the, I'm the biggest music fan in the world, I think, that's never played a musical instrument. So I know the words to the songs. I understand all of those things. But from a musician's point of view, for a, for a Kenny Loggins to say to you, I want you to help me in this, you know, and be a part of everything I do. Same thing with Felder. I mean, who can think about Hotel California is an album, I don't care if you are born in the 70s or if you were born after 2000, everyone knows Hotel California. You. That's right. It's amazing. That's right. And to play it on stage with the guy who wrote it, you know, you got to pinch yourself every time. You know, even if you're going through a, a tough tour and sometimes the elements on tour are just, you know, kind of travels can wipe you out. There's still a moment in every show that I do where I go, this is a really cool job. <laughs> is it, it's got to be cool for you to stand on stage and you don't even have to sing the songs. The audience can do it for I mean, to be that involved Hold in the a mic out. Right. And, and just watch them be such a part of the, They're not just watching the show, they're a part of the show. Yes, yes. Is it cool being a part of the nostalgia for people? Oh, yeah. Of course it is. I mean, to be a part of something that is that brings such joy to people, that brings back memories. I mean, every individual who heard these songs for the first time, where this was their theme song in high school, right. this was this is the this is their uh, romantic encounter song that they had. You know, it's yeah, absolutely. Well, one of the you're girls reaching, here. You're reaching everybody in just a different well, way. Well, you met Ashley, young yeah. girl here that works with us. She walked up to you and said, my daughter used one of the Toto songs in her dance at ballet. Is that's I mean, look at the generation that that has. 
You know, yes. that's, that's crazy. Yeah, and with songs that uh, have such staying power and song power, and then to have a band like Weezer cover Africa. Yeah. And it brought a whole new generation. It did a great job with it, too. That was a cool version, a cool way to do that song. Yeah, it's very good. And again, it brought this new generation of music lovers to that table. And now you've got, you know, little girls wanting to do Toto for their dance. It's, it's, it's just great. We're going to talk about Toto in a minute. We're going to take a break. When we get back, some things you don't know about the band Toto. Celebrated their 40th anniversary last year. They're touring. They're in the Valley this week, or next week they'll be in the Valley. We'll talk to him about the band Toto and their tours around the world, so stick around. I hear the drums are going tonight, but she is And welcome back. We're glad you're back with us. A music for people, a trip down memory lane. We all have been to shows where you go and see a band that you loved when you were a kid, and they're nothing like they were when you see them years later. I saw you guys two years ago with Pat Benatar, and if I shut my eyes, it's the same band. You guys sound as good as you ever sounded. Is that kind of cool to be a part of that? Well, first of all, thank you for that. It's But you agree, right? I mean, you're a part of the band. You guys sound terrific. These guys, like I said, have been around the business. They they get get their ultimate respect from being the best at, at their instruments. They're not going to go on stage unless it sounds as good or better than the record. The voices, not though, going and to. you're a part of a big part of the vocals with the band now. The voices are still the music and the songs are just like we remember them. Well, the vocal is the cherry on top of the Sunday. That's the first thing you see. And that's the first, in you know, musical context, that's the first thing you hear. That's the identifying mark of the song, melody, lyrics. So we, we take a lot of uh, time to make sure that the vocals are right, the harmonies are there. Joseph Williams is singing his butt off every night. It's, it's, we, we, we make sure that that's top quality. So for someone like me, here in 41 years of Toto, that is, it's like, oh my gosh, could it possibly be that long? But what's it like for those guys to say, we've stood, we've stood the test of time for 41 years? Well, and a lot of the credit has to go to Steve Lukather, because he's the guy that's held, to get, held it together for that long. Uh, when the band through, went through some rough times and the band wasn't getting a lot of respect and kind of I call it the, like the lost years of Toto in the, in the late 90s and th areas like that. But he held it together and um, the band is on an upswing and has been, been doing great since. Speaking of which, um, pictures you post online. By the way, you got to follow Shem on, on social media. You got a fan club we'll talk about in a minute. Which Is, <laughs> is that kind of cool having your own fan club? It's just something that started. It wasn't even my idea. And uh, I've got the volunteer staff in Europe that, wants, that wanted to do this. And here we are. We're, they, <laughs> that is kind of cool, right? We'll talk about it, yeah. But it's, um, you sent me pictures in Europe. This band is huge in Europe. I mean, how many thousands? I was shocked. How many thousands? We're playing. We're playing as as a single bill, right? Meaning we're the only act for the evening. We're playing 17,000, 18,000, like hockey arenas. And into it, the videos you post, it is crazy. The kid, the kids, like, and I say kids, the 20 year olds know every lyric to every song, even like the deep cuts. They know the songs. Europe. I've always said that Europe has a has an appreciation for music different than here, where if you were famous at one point, you don't become old hat, all right? You don't become you know the fad that's gone. Right. It stays. They want to come see it every time you come through town. They want to come out. But it's not just their parents there. I no, mean, it's, you know, it's them. Right. It's, it's it, all ages. It's a wide range. And I think that when uh, it's fun, it was fun for me to go to the show last time you guys were here. And, and by the way, celebrity theaters are going to be on the 21st. Yeah. And if you want to see as great as they've always been, I'm telling you, they are just as good as they always were. Really, you are. Um, it's got to be cool to see parents now with their kids. It's incredible, right? I mean, just you, we're always looking for a way to unite parents and kids, the two generations, get them back together, and it's 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 very heartwarming to see that, very rewarding to see that. So let's talk about the fan club. How did this happen? <laughs> well, because I've known you for so long, and I've always said you deserve it. If, if uh, you and I could trade careers, I'd trade with you in a heartbeat. I'm so jealous of what you can do. But I think it's great that you have the fan club. How did that happen? The fan club, first of all, is, it's, it's a Facebook follow right now. It's not even, you don't know, have to pay money to, to join or anything like that. But Nobody's it's getting a like an 8x10 glossy of not, you on stage? Not yet. Okay. We're working on all right, it. This okay. is just, it basically just started about three weeks ago. We just launched it. But we're going to be launching, launching products, uh, hats, 
t-shirts, hoodies, etc., tote bags. Um, like I said, a volunteer staff in, in Europe has, has wanted to take this on. And I said, sure, because it's not just about Toto, it's, it's incorporating a lot of the other things that I do, uh, including little fitness tips from the road. Uh, I can try to stay fit in the road, and I, people have asked about tips about that. Uh, the, the symphony concerts that I do with my own show that I tour with, uh, we've got symphony shows in Calgary, Indianapolis, Sarasota, Florida, um, and Detroit coming up. So a lot of things I'm doing. I'm an, I'm an author with a fiction novel coming out. So there's all kinds of things and aspects to me attacking art that, uh, that we're doing. So that's what the fan club is, just to be a part of that and to share it. Well, it's kind of cool to see on stage you, like you said, you were behind the scenes, and not necessarily behind the scenes, but you weren't no, the you front, mean. you weren't the front man necessarily, the name that was attached, but you have grown in such popularity with the band on the road. Is that new for you? Is that something uh, or not? Um, yeah, it, I, I'll, I'll just say yes, it's new. I mean, when I was singing opera in Germany, yes, it was me on the, on the bill and, and all that stuff, and the symphony shows, it's me. But, but yeah, it, it, with, with uh, attaching myself to the Toto popularity and being more visible, I would say, internationally, you know, with Toto as a vehicle, it's, it's been great. I've been very fortunate. Here's an Arizona guy uh, touring the world and now kind of getting the attention he deserves. Uh, <laughs> Shem Von Schreck, the fan club. Toto is here the 21st. Go and see him. And, uh, I just wanted you to meet him because he's such an interesting guy, and uh, I'm really happy for you, man. Hey, Thanks. Man. Thanks for coming. Hi. You're always a great friend, man. I appreciate it. We'll be back.